morning students, welcome to my class. Today we are going to start with another activity. But at the beginning we are going to remember the topic of the last class. The last class we review the steps of the cultural shock. Do you remember? That's right. So can you tell me the five steps of the cultural shock? That's right. We are going to name in order, okay? The first, honeymoon. That's right. Disorientation. Shock. Adaptation. And the last one, adjustment, okay? That was the five ste steps of the cultural shock, okay? And can you tell me the definition of the first step? That's right, that was the adaptation, okay? It is related to the, to the integration into the new culture, that's right? Okay, as I said before, today we are going to start with a new activity, okay? So, you are going to open your book in the page number uh, 57, okay? In that part. We are going to review the listening activity. What is the topic for today? Don't buy one of these. And what is the objective? To develop the listening skill through an activity. Okay? So today we are going to review that in order to understand better. Okay? I am going to show in a better way the image. Okay? So wait a minute, please. Okay, remember, we are going to go to the first part, okay? So tell me, do you know the topic of the listening? Do you know the products that the people are going to buy? That's right, so we are going to listen in order to understand better the topic, okay? So you are going to go, as I said before, usted va a ir a la página uh, 57, 57 a la parte del listening, ok? Vamos a trabajar en esta parte, en la parte del listening, ok? Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, ok? And 5 exercises, ok? We have to do all of that, ok? Tenemos que hacer todos. We are going to start, ok? Vamos a comenzar. It says, working pairs, we are going to work together. Look at the pictures and discuss the questions, okay? We are going to see the pictures, okay? So pay attention. Track 20. Okay, as you notice here we have a computer, okay? That is the keypad, the mouse. Uh, he is a baby. Uh, that is a cat, it is a cat. What is it? Okay, as you notice, there is a kind of car. Es un tipo de carro. Maybe there is a new technology, okay? Tal vez es algo relacionado con la nueva tecnología. We are going to answer the questions, okay? It says, what do you think the products are used for? Tell me, what do you think? Okay, I think that uh, those products are used in order to improve the, the life, okay? In order to make easier our life, okay? Yo creo que estos son utilizados para hacer nuestra vida más fácil. It could be. The second, which product is different from the others and why? Okay, so pay attention here. What do you think? Okay, I think that this product is different because these products are created uh, for people, okay? And that product is created for animals, okay? Yo creo que este es el diferente porque este está creado para animales y este está creado para personas, okay? We are going to listen in order to understand better, okay? The exercise number two, listen to a museum guide and check your guesses, okay? We are going to listen, vamos a escuchar 
para saber si respondimos correctamente. Uh, the exercise number three. Listen again and match the events to the reasons they were not popular at first. Okay, so pay attention. We have to keep in mind, we have to pay attention to the reasons, okay, that the products were not uh, popular, okay. Tenemos que prestar atención a las razones por las cuales los productos no eran populares. En el ejercicio 4, working peers complete what people saw about the invention in the activity 3 with the connectors in the box, okay. So, as you notice, that is related to the listening. Esto está relacionado con el listening. And uh, we have to complete with that words, ¿ok? Tenemos que completar con estas palabritas que tenemos, ¿ok? So, we are going to listen in order to understand better, ¿ok? And the number five, listen again and check your answers. Then work in pairs, ¿ok? So, we are going to listen three times, ¿ok? So, pay attention. Be careful, okay? If you need, please take take notes, okay? Track notes. 23. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Museum of Science and Technology. Technology. I'll be, be your, your guide, guide today. today. And I'm going to be talking to you about our new exhibition of strange inventions. Actually, one of the strangest inventions we have at the museum is dusting slippers for cats. These are small slippers that are worn by cats and which have dusters on the bottom. The idea is that while the cat moves around the house, your floors are clean. Of course, the slippers are a silly invention, and we all know they just won't work. That's not to say some inventions that are called silly or pointless when they first come out didn't actually take off and become incredibly successful. The personal computer, for example, which was invented in the 1970s, was said to be a useless invention that no one would ever want. And now billions of people have one, or have access to one. But some inventions really are silly or useless. Back in 1948, Joe Gilpin invented a motorized surfboard that nobody wanted to buy. Not even surfers. The idea was ridiculous, so nobody bought one. Other inventions were more useful, but nobody wanted them because they were dangerous. In the 1930s, to help with the problems of space in people's apartments, the baby cage was invented. It was hung on the outside of people's apartments. It was a good way of making more space inside, but unsurprisingly, people just didn't want to hang their babies outside their windows. Then there are inventions which are useful, but which are badly designed. The C5 was an example. The C5 was a battery-assisted tricycle that was invented in the 1980s. At the time, everybody was excited by the idea of a cheap electric vehicle. But the C5 was a disaster. Firstly, the open design meant the C5 was only really practical in dry weather. Another problem was that it had no reverse gear and was difficult to turn around. On top of that, the C5's battery was so ineffective that it wasn't able to go up hills. And finally, people felt unsafe driving such a small and open vehicle in heavy traffic. The result was that only 17,000 were sold, and just 11 months later, Sinclair vehicles went bankrupt. Okay, and that was the listening. Okay, so according that, what is it? Okay, there is a dusting slippers for cats. And what is it? Okay, that is the, the name of that thing is C5 and that is um, an electric vehicle or electric car, okay? And what is this? Sorry, the baby. Okay, that is a baby cash, okay? And the last one, what is it? Okay, that is a personal Q 
computer. Okay, so pay attention on that. We are going to listen the second time. Okay, in order to complete the exercise number three and number four. Okay, so you have to pay attention. Okay, you have to try to complete. Okay, tenemos que intentar completar este ejercicio. We are going to listen. Okay. Track 20. Okay, as I said before, here we have to listen, we have to pay attention to the reasons, okay? The reasons that the, the, that products were not popular, okay? Tenemos que escuchar las razones en las cuales estos productos no fueron populares, okay? And we have to match with the correct answer, okay? Tenemos que unir con la palabra correcta, so pay attention. Three. Welcome to the Museum of Science and Technology. I'll be your guide today, and I'm going to be talking to you about our new exhibition of strange inventions. Actually, one of the strangest inventions we have at the museum is dusting slippers for cats. These are small slippers that are worn by cats and which have dusters on the bottom. The idea is that while the cat moves around the house, your floors are clean. Of course, the slippers are a silly invention, and we all know they just won't work. That's not to say some inventions that are called silly or pointless when they first come out didn't actually take off and become incredibly successful. The personal computer, for example, which was invented in the 1970s, was said to be a useless invention that no one would ever want. And now billions of people have one, or have access to one. But some inventions really are silly or useless. Back in 1948, Joe Gilpin invented a motorized surfboard that nobody wanted to buy. Not even surfers. The idea was ridiculous, so nobody bought one. Other inventions were more useful, but nobody wanted them because they were dangerous. In the 1930s, to help with the problems of space in people's apartments, the baby cage was invented. It was hung on the outside of people's apartments. It was a good way of making more space inside, but unsurprisingly, people just didn't want to hang their babies outside their windows. Then there are inventions which are useful, but which are badly designed. The C5 was an example. The C5 was a battery-assisted tricycle that was invented in the 1980s. At the time, everybody was excited by the idea of a cheap electric vehicle. But the C5 was a disaster. Firstly, the open design meant the C5 was only really practical in dry weather. Another problem was that it had no reverse gear and was difficult to turn around. On top of that, the C5's battery was so ineffective that it wasn't able to go up hills. And finally, people felt unsafe driving such a small and open vehicle in heavy traffic. The result was that only 17,000 were sold, and just 11 months later, Sinclair vehicles went bankrupt. Okay, and that was the listening. We are going to try to complete that exercise, okay? So pay attention. Dustin sleep for cats. That was? Okay, not functional, okay? For this reason, the invent was not popular. Baby cage. What was the answer? Tell me. Okay, not safe, okay? And the letter C, C5, what was the reason? The poor design, okay? That is the reason that this uh, product was not popular. And personal computer, okay, that is the last one, not useful, okay? So that was the reason uh, that the, that those products were not popular at first, okay? We are going to listen the last times in order to complete that exercise, okay? 
We are going to read in order to understand better and you have to complete, okay? It says, the personal computer we said to, said to be a you, sorry, useless invention. Other inventions were more useful. Nobody wanted them. They were dangerous. The C5 was a disaster. The open concept meant it was only really useful in dry weather. Was that it had no reverse gear. The C5 wasn't able to go up hills. People felt unsafe driving such a small vehicle in real traffic that not many were sought. Okay, so as I said before, we have to complete with that words. Okay, como les había mencionado antes, tenemos que completar con estas palabras. Okay, so pay attention to the last time. Okay, preste atención al último. Track 23. Welcome to the Museum of Science and Technology. I'll be your guide today. And I'm going to be talking to you about our new exhibition of strange inventions. Actually, one of the strangest inventions we have at the museum is dusting slippers for cats. These are small slippers that are worn by cats and which have dusters on the bottom. The idea is that while the cat moves around the house, your floors are clean. Of course, the slippers are a silly invention and we all know they just won't work. That's not to say some inventions that are called silly or pointless when they first come out didn't actually take off and become incredibly successful. The personal computer, for example, which was invented in the 1970s, was said to be a useless invention that no one would ever want. And now billions of people have one or have access to one. But some inventions really are silly or useless. Back in 1948, Joe Gilpin invented a motorized surfboard that nobody wanted to buy. Not even surfers. The idea was ridiculous, so nobody bought one. Other inventions were more useful, but nobody wanted them because they were dangerous. In the 1930s, to help with the problems of space in people's apartments, the baby cage was invented. It was hung on the outside of people's apartments. It was a good way of making more space inside, but unsurprisingly, people just didn't want to hang their babies outside their windows. Then there are inventions which are useful, but which are badly designed. The C5 was an example. The C5 was a battery-assisted tricycle that was invented in the 1980s. At the time, everybody was excited by the idea of a cheap electric vehicle. But the C5 was a disaster. Firstly, the open design meant the C5 was only really practical in dry weather. Another problem was that it had no reverse gear and was difficult to turn around. On top of that, the C5's battery was so ineffective that it wasn't able to go up hills. And finally, people felt unsafe driving such a small and open vehicle in heavy traffic. The result was that only 17,000 were sold, and just 11 months later, Sinclair vehicles went bankrupt. Okay, and we are going to start to complete that exercise, okay? It says, the personal computer, okay, for example, was said to be unless invention. Other inventions were more useful, but nobody wanted them because they were dangerous, okay? The number five, the second part, the C5, sorry, okay, was a disaster. Firstly, uh, the open concept meant it was only really useful in dry weather. Another problem was that it had no reverse gear. Here. Okay, on the top of that, the C5 wasn't able to go up hills. 
And finally, people felt unsafe driving such a small vehicle in real traffic. The result was not, not many were sold. Okay, so that is the exercise number four. And that is all for today. What is your homework? ¿Cuál es su trabajo? You have to complete the exercise number one, two, three, and four, okay? You are going to complete in your notebooks, okay? If you need, please listen another time, okay? Si usted necesita, escúchelo una vez más, okay? Si está bien, you can complete, okay? So thank you students, that is all for today. Have a nice day, goodbye.